Hello everyone, I just wanted to show you the latest progress on Operation Bloodshed. I haven't added any new gameplay feature, but uh, I've uh, fixed a lot of bugs and improved performance and uh, made some minor changes. So let's begin with the, the new text box controls. You can now select text with the mouse or with the arrow keys and shift. You can also select uh, words with the control key. So it's basically uh, what you would do on any text editor of choice. It's a very fast way uh, to change parameters in game. For example, it's very easy to select and uh, modify spawner parameters or to easily change your levels. Also, I've uh, changed the, uh, the user interface code to adapt to the font that's being used. And as you can see here, in the post screen, we have a bigger font that uh, the player can use to load the levels. And uh, the user interface automatically adapts to this font. Also, the user interface can now be uh, styled. Basically, you can uh, use uh, um, simple code to change colors and uh, padding, uh, offsets, and all of that stuff. So it, uh, it's, a very, it's very easy uh, to put this uh, user interface in another project and give it a, a unique look. Um, so I also added uh, this new window to load levels and in the editor to load and save levels and also to add the sectors to a certain pack and save the entire pack. So you can make uh, multiple levels and multiple sectors in, the si in a single file. Also, uh, in the game, uh, you can see a new kind of particle type. Uh, for, uh, as you can see from these sparks, uh, this kind of particles have a new parameter which is called fuzziness, and basically it uh, makes the particles flicker. So uh, you can make uh, more realistic spark-like particles. For example, in the explosion in the smoke, you can see how the fuzziness makes them look more natural and uh, basically look much better than they were before. Also the particles are now stored into text files so that uh, you can uh, tweak them easily and uh, create new particle types uh, with your favorite text editor. It's also an advantage for players who may not like uh, a certain kind of particle so they can uh, completely turn it off or maybe modify the intensity of the colors and so on. I also optimized particles by changing uh, calculations from degrees to radians and so avoiding uh, unnecessary conversions and basically the game can handle a lot of particles on screen and uh, a lot of uh, physic physical elements so um, performance shouldn't be an issue even on uh, lower end machines. That's it for now, thank you for watching, I've been working on other projects so I've uh, kind of uh, um, worked uh, less time on Operation Bloodshed, but uh, I will probably try and uh, implement some new elements in, uh, in the recent future. Also I've created a virtual machine and uh, an assembly code compiler uh, and I will show that in a, in a later video. Thank you for watching.